Hello, Leslie here from Message in a Fold. It's Wednesday, and today, this week, and next week, we're going to be doing pockets for uh, mini books. They can go on cards. Uh, they can go in scrapbook layouts. So this week we're doing gusseted pockets. And what a gusseted pocket is, is you have your little pocket and it has some expanding sides and a bottom. And you have a lot of room in there that you can put big items. My husband's home. I don't know. That was a big loud crash. <laughs> so, anyway, you could put you could put thicker items like a smaller little mini mini album or something. You can put them in. This is one quarter inch wide all around the gusset is, and then here are some that are one eighth inch wide. The little gusset. And, and you can put, you can still put things in, thicker things. If you have a tag that has a lot of flowers and bling and it's really thick and you want to put it in but you want to protect it, make a gusseted pocket for those. And you can do that with an envelope. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a an A2 envelope. I bought a box of them from my office supply store and I gusseted the sides and the bottom and the top. So now I have an opening that is big enough for something kind of big. This is too small now for an A4 size card. So you'd have to make it a little smaller. It would be five inches by four. So if you have a four inch by five inch card that you've made, that's where you can put it. So come on and join me. Let me show you how to make these gusseted pockets. This is a 1 8 inch gusseted pocket. It has, it has the gussets in there to expand. And I'm going to show you how I did this. I've used some on the boardwalk graphic 45 paper for this. These are 8 by 8s, but I'm not going to use this because these are 1 8 inch and you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use some cardstock that you will be able to see what I'm doing. All right, this piece is 4 by 8 and I'm going to use this scoreboard. Now because these things are going to be very small and you need to make some cuts here in there, <clears throat> Excuse me. Then first, I'm going to put this paper in and line it up with the four inch. Okay, and then I need you to come down here. All right, the paper is lined up in the four inch. This mark, this turquoise mark right here, that is a one eighth increment and that is one-fourth. So I'm going to go in the one-eighth and the one-fourth and then I'm going to turn my paper over to the other side and do the same. I don't like working with this scoreboard on this inside edge. My hand is always in the way or I end up shifting the paper. So with this pen I'm going to mark No, I'm going to use 
his stylus in there first. All right, and then I'm going to go with it with a pen. And this is just so you can see what I'm doing. All right now, I'm going to go to the th uh, three and three quarters mark and score it. Okay, so there are my two score lines. Now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to do the same thing here. At one eighth before the four And at three and three quarters, or at the one fourth mark before the four. Whoops. Okay, you didn't see that. All right, now instead of instead of this having just a teeny tiny little bit. I think I'm going to raise this about a half an inch. So instead of going at the four, which is the half of the eight, I'm going to go yeah, I'm going to go to the four and a half. It's not going to leave much, but we'll see. At the four and a half. Now I need to go one eighth of an inch on either side of this four and a half. There and there. Alright, now your score marks are going to look like this. Now with the scissors and, I, and my craft knife, I'm going to cut right here right there. So I cut on these intersecting lines here right to this edge. And with my craft knife I'm going to cut this out right there. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. It's so much easier to cut that out now than it is to wait later. Okay, so now what we're going to do is now we're going to fold this inward and this one outward. So you're going to have that little accordion thing right there. And do the same on the other side, inward 
and outward. And sometimes it does not want to cooperate, but and then do the same with the bottom area. And then with this last flap in and out. Now you see the two gusseted areas right there. We're going to join them with an adhesive, but we need to work down here. Now this center, this center line, that one is going to be folded inward, inside. and the other two are going to be outside. And so this other one goes outside. Now this is where things will get a little bound up right there even though we're not glued so the next thing that we need to do is cut this we're on the inside now this is the inside so we need to make a cut into this corner a diagonal cut in there and the same for this one a nice little diagonal cut all right and we're going to take some adhesive I have some 1 8 inch score tape now I'm going to put it on the short end this this one is short and this one is longer so I'm going to put this on the short end Now before we glue these down, these little guys want to go wherever they want to. Okay. That wants to stick out. Alright, so carefully get your edges lined up. And press that down. I need to put the other side on. Oh well. All right, there is. There's your pocket. Okay. So let's. Let's 
Sometimes I find it helpful to pinch there in that corner as you're trying to make the pocket close. Okay, so there now is your gusseted pocket. You have room for expansion. Now you have this little thing up here on these sides. And this is just, it's pretty easy to fix. Just snip it. If you use coupons for your shopping, I have a box of A2 invitation envelopes that I picked up from my office supply store. And however many envelopes you need, it's just a regular envelope. So with a ruler and a pencil, I'm going to draw a line at one fourth inch. Better do it correctly. Okay, there. Instead of at an angle, there and there. And across the bottom. And because this envelope is already folded, you don't have to do anything with it. Just cut out these little corners. Just like that. Okay, now... with a straight edge of some kind, bring this up. And fold it, oops. And crease it. And do the same with this side. Now on, on this one, the envelope flap is going to get in the way, but you can snip that off later, that little piece off. All right, now we're going to do this one. <clears throat> All right. So now go in and push, push this center one in and this is the outside of the envelope this fold here you're going to push that in inward like that and do the same on the other side That. Push that in. Come on. Okay, there. And then on the bottom, oh, snip this corner. And snip your other corner and then push the bottom of the envelope in
Come on. There. Now, you'll need to trim this, this little piece here away. I can't get under there. All right. So now you have a gusseted envelope and you can you can do a quarter inch up here, one fourth inch up here if you feel you need to. the other way like that okay now you have a gusseted pocket or envelope if you want to hand deliver one of your special cards of course this won't be Four and a quarter by five and a half. No, this is uh, this is five and an eighth. So this won't work very good for your your big cards, but it will work as a pocket in a on a scrapbook page. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on how to make gusseted pockets. So you can get creative in your crafting area, in your projects, whatever you want to do. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and just visiting, uh, please subscribe. There's a lot of things happening. And next week, next Wednesday, I'm going to show you how to do this this one here and it's using scrapbook paper all right so this is Leslie from message in a fold saying now you go show someone how special they are bye